Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Tesla Solar Roof Warp. Uh, what is it? Uh, why is it a thing? And uh, well, what's going on uh, with it? That'll all be covered in this video and kind of what to expect when buying a Tesla Solar Roof. Tesla Warp or Solar Roof Warping. What is it? Is it the roof? No, it's not actually the Tesla products themselves, but I personally feel like people are going to frame it this way. We're gonna start this off by actually looking at the roof and I'm gonna point out the spots that kind of have a warp in them and then explain how that happened and also tell you that it's not actually the Tesla solar roof product or anything uh, that has to do with Tesla but I figured people may uh, make videos saying that it is Tesla's fault, but uh, I have proof and just my experience with this roof over the last 25 years that it is definitely not uh, the case. It is definitely the roof's case, but let's, let's get into it. All right, so where is the Tesla roof warp? Now, some of you had very keen eyes and actually saw this, uh, not right away, but a few of you pointed it out. So this is a very, very long piece of roof, um, especially since it's, you know, cathedral ceiling. So it's all one continuous piece. It's not a shorter section of roof. Uh, so it is definitely more noticeable, the warping on a large section of roof such as this. And if we follow the lines, go, 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 right here, we can see that it runs flat off the edge, dips, and then kind of straightens back out again and if we walk this way um, you can kind of see it just in, in little sections here and there mostly for this building it's this side here and this side here uh, and that has absolutely nothing to do with Tesla Tesla energy it has nothing to do with the installation crew all of that little warping where you get that little dip that totally has to do with one the age of the house and the roof how the roof was built and also just the size of the roof and the bigger something is such as this roof the easier it is to notice little imperfections in it uh, the first two though are the most important and I'm going to clarify them next so why is my roof warping if, I, if you know I'm saying that it has nothing to do with Tesla well, was it warping before the Tesla roof went on? And the answer is yes. This roof uh, had a little bit of a warp in it when it had shingles. And this roof is a 25-year-old roof. Now, it didn't always have a warp, but over the years, the beams underneath, you know, they shift a little, the house settles. Um, originally, there was no warp in the house when it was, you know, brand new, but over time, you know, this house has settled. It's 25 years old. And with that, some of these beams behind me have kind of sagged down a little bit. It's a little saggy. Um, for me, that's no big deal. And honestly, unless you're really particular, I have no issue with it. The sags in the roof were noticeable uh, very clearly, especially after the second asphalt roof or traditional roof that was put onto this house. Uh, you didn't really notice it on the first one, but that was also the original roof and everything was brand spanking new because this house is built uh, you know, from the ground up. Uh, but after the second roof, you did start to notice little dips, a little bit of warp in the roof, and that is just those very long beams sagging just a little bit. No structural problems with it. Uh, it has nothing to do with the plywood that's underneath. Uh, when they installed the Tesla solar roof, they actually replaced 13 pieces of wood. It was a good half of the roof. Uh, half of the plywood on this roof was replaced with brand new plywood. So it's not the plywood, it's definitely the beams. I've talked to some people outside of Tesla as well, you know, just just to cover my bases, because Tesla was like, you see those little dips? They actually pointed them out to me. Uh, that's something that ha that's going on with your roof that's unrelated to us. And we're like, yeah, <laughs> we've known them, that we knew they were there for, for years now. 
But uh, thank you for letting us know that there isn't a structural problem uh, with the, ha the roof on this house because that would, that would really suck. Uh, I talked to some people that are outside of Tesla that just do their own private contracting and their answer was exactly the same. They're like, it has nothing to do with the roof. It has, it has everything to do with the beams underneath. So with that, it gave me a lot of peace of mind. Not that I was really concerned, because, you know, again, I had these little warps for a couple, you know, like probably like a decade at this point. So uh, I wasn't really worried about it. I was really happy, though, about them replacing all the pieces of plywood up there. But again, had no effect on the overall appearance of this Tesla solar roof. So now, uh, will this be a problem for everybody? And my best answer is probably not. If you have a newer house, as long as it was constructed properly, this shouldn't be an issue. Um, if you have an older house, maybe consider redoing some of the beams um, if it's something that's really going to bother you that much. But from my experience, since all the roofs on this house, all the different ones, because we've got different sections, the big front one, then there's a small one in the back, there's a little roof, and then there's a side one here. This main roof here, this side, is the only side that has a warp. It's also the biggest, it receives the most sun, it faces south, it takes a beating, it has two skylights, it's got two holes drilled in it that are windows, skylights. So, you know, it's, it's definitely seen its, uh, you know, its fair share of use and just the environment pounding on it. And again, too, it's basically twice as long as most roofs because of the cathedral ceiling. We'll take a look at the back roof that's not even a quarter of this size, and you'll see how basically perfect it is and how it lacks any kind of little warp in it. All right, now we're on the back roof, the extra roof, because the main roof's over there. Here's a little back roof, and look at it. It looks great. Granted, it's smaller than most people's roofs on their houses, but uh, it just showcases that you could have no warps at all. And it's, a lot of it is gonna have to do on your contractor that put on your roof originally, how old your house is, and the size of your roof. Okay, so with that, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hopefully, I answered your questions or you know maybe showed you something that you didn't think of uh, when ordering or buying or looking into a Tesla solar roof. For me, this is not a major problem at all because it was present with an asphalt or a standard roof, as we're going to call it. So it's not a problem to me to have it on uh, my Tesla roof here. Other than that, if you have additional questions about this, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer it, but hopefully uh, this kind of answers any kind of problems uh, or questions people have in the future if somebody else happens to have a similar uh, you know result uh, odds are your roof was warping in in the past to start with of course I guess you can talk to your Tesla energy team about that or talk to Tesla energy ask them questions uh, regarding things like that and see what they have to say in the future because you know Tesla they're always developing they're always trying to improve they're always improving their products so it'll be interesting to see if they have more solutions for things like this in the future to correct the wrongs done by other roofers or people in construction in the past with their current products so with that thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed and as always have an excellent day